happened since the last time that I recorded. I think the last time you guys saw me, I was in my second trimester. And um, yeah, I think I did post an update in the community section when the baby was born. Um, and I said that I would be back soon. Um, and that was a few months ago now. Um, I thought that when I came back on here that it would be to maybe do like some kind of newborn favorites or meet my new baby or something like that. But um, unfortunately, um, it's been a little over a month since I um, had to end up leaving my husband. Um, I honestly don't even really know where to start. Well, before she starts, guys, what's going on? It's that dude named Dave, and I am back with another video. Before we get started here, did you guys do a few things for me? Comment, like, subscribe, and click on that bell notification below because I'm on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Okay, no long intro here. You guys emailed me this video. Apparently, this is a content creator, and um, when I pulled up her channel, she is or uh, is a single mother who was married, but the basis of her channel talks about being a trophy wife. And she makes videos and coaches women on how to date high profile men, how to date high value men, how to present yourselves as a kept woman so that said high value man will keep you, you know, taken care of and things of that nature. So um, apparently something bad happened with her husband and you guys emailed it over to me. So let's get to it to see what she's talking about with this um just because it's just such a hard topic and i honestly thought that by the time i got on here that i wouldn't have any tears left because i've just cried so much um It's like I built this channel and this whole brand around being this man's wife and trying to teach other women how to attract good men and provider men and all these different things. And um, I truly held my husband or saw him as the bar. Um, for what every woman should, you know, type of man that, or type of husband that every woman should aspire to have. And um, I didn't realize that the person I married was actually going to be my biggest nightmare. So basically, um, when I first met my husband, um, as I've already talked about in another video, um, I think it was my single mom video, I, I explained, you know, a little bit about how we met and, um, I really thought that that man was my Prince Charming. Um, um, so when I first met my husband, um, I thought that he was my Prince Charming. I thought that he was my knight in shining armor and, you know, he portrayed himself to be this amazing, upright, righteous Christian man. Um, 
And I believed him. Okay, it's getting kind of long into her. She's kind of drawing this out here, but I'm hoping I'm not hearing the worst here right now. I'm not going to speculate. I'm, it's just taking a while for her to get this out right now. But come on, Tribe. Y'all email this to me. I, I don't want to hear if it's the worst, guys. Come on. Um, I think shortly after we got married, and this is something that I haven't talked about, um, I started noticing like certain things changed with him and um, I just started to see a few things that I didn't like but I honestly thought that some of these were things that I could get past wait a minute okay there's obviously was red flags that she just said she thought to get past her. So these red flags that she's talking of, I would like to know what they are because it was that serious, but you just wanted to gloss over it because you was in love here. I, I hope you explain this here. Um, It was like sad to even say like I could get past some of these things. Um, I don't even know what, where to start. Come on, let's get to it. <sighs> Come um, on, baby girl. Six weeks ago, I was um, changing my daughter, my four-year-old daughter. Wait, 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 wait. Come on now. Wait, no. You're a content creator. And I hope I'm not assuming what I think you're going to tell us. No, come on now. And um, I noticed that... Um, when I changed her, she was red and very sensitive. And um, immediately, my first thought was, did someone touch her? Oh, God. Um, so I asked her, I said, baby, did somebody touch you? And she ended up saying it was daddy. Nah, come on, man. Come on, tribe. No. A four-year-old? Is this man in jail? This is true. If this is true, where are the police? Where are the police? Where is the family to get on this cat here? Let's let it play some more here. I better hear that Johnny Law is involved here with a four-year-old. I felt like my world ended on that day. <sighs> my husband wasn't home at the time when she told me, but I knew he would be coming home soon, so all I could do was just say, don't tell him that you told me. And I just instantly started trying to think of how I could get my kids out of the house. Because I knew if I confronted him or asked him about it, that he would just lie. And that he would probably just continue to keep doing stuff to her, but just become more covert or more sneaky or, or 
or whatever. As soon as my husband got home, I he was actually picking up the boys from school, my two older boys from school. As soon as he got home, I told him that I was gonna go Halloween shopping with my sister um, because I just needed an excuse to get out of the house with all the kids. And I knew if I said something like, oh, I'm going to the grocery store that um, it would be suspicious, like, why am I bringing all the kids and, like, packing things, like, things that we would need and things like that. So going Halloween shopping was the best thing I could think of to just hurry up and get the kids out of the house. I'm sorry, I had to get myself together. Um, so... When I got to the hospital, um, they basically told me that we had to go to another hospital because they didn't do physical exams, like that kind of phys physical exam there. Um, so um, a police officer escorted um, the kids and I to another hospital where they were able to evaluate um, my daughters. Um, it ended up coming out that um, he had actually been um, touching both of my daughters, um, who are only two and four years old. Okay, Tribe, I gotta, I gotta stop it right there. I know there's a few more minutes left in the video, but this is too much for me, okay? I'm not here to victim shame. I'm gonna, I want the crowd, I want the Tribe, I want the AIC members to reach out back to me for this video here. If you guys have any updates that's gonna go further here. Because when you guys email me this video, I went and pulled up her channel and she had like over 28,000 subscribers. And as I'm reacting to this video right now, she has north of over 50,000 subscribers and this video is going viral right now. So my thing that I have for this here, it's not about victim shaming here. I'm not doing that. But there's three sides of the story, his side, her side, and then the middle here. So. By the fact that you went to the hospital now, it is consistent of harm that's been done to your young children here. I need to know right now, has the, you know, even though you said the police escorted you out, has the police arrested this man, right? Has he been taken into custody? Has your family stepped in to whoop this dude's <laughs> right? But here's the other side story that some people are gonna come in my comment section, Dave. Do we know if she's even telling the truth? Could it really be her husband or could it be somebody else? I don't know. I'm not here for that. We're only getting one side of the story here. But this is a mess of situation here. But my thing is, if someone does something to your children, run. Get away. Run the police and get your family involved so that this dude actually did it. He got to go down. I mean, I mean, a tribe, I don't, I don't know how to handle This is what I need y'all to do. If you guys have any updates on this situation, send them over to me because this is something that I normally don't comment on and normally I don't deal with here, but she put it on the internet. It's going viral and y'all send it over to me. And the one thing that I detest is any harm coming to little children, especially this kind of harm because I can't say certain words to the YouTube algorithm because this is just too heinous right now, guys. So I, I, I'm, I'm gonna stop this. And if you guys got any updates, y'all let me know. But man, this is wild. Need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe and show y'all support for the channel, man. I'm out. <laughs>